Most people are familiar with federal laws that apply to them in the day-to-day -day aspects of their life. In other words, their understanding that they have the right to their biology and their physicality and their privacy of their loins and their medical rights that protect their, well, records. They also understand that they are involved in an industry, in a profession, in a career that has certain laws that govern it with regard to health, safety, sanitation, or the provision of service under consumer rights, consumer rights laws. Outside of that, we have other laws that govern our lives, and those that govern our lives are related to the nation from which we have an origin. If we're an American citizen, we of course know that federal laws, including the Bill of Rights, which are the amendments to our Constitution, are something we must understand. The simplest way to understand that particular document of the Bill of Rights and the amendments is we have the right to our personhood, our paperwork, and our property. That pretty much sums up all of that pretty straightforward. There's sure a lot of other articles that we could contact and communicate on, but it's really basically saying that we have the right to the freedom of our lives. Outside of that, we have another document that actually trumps any federal law. You see, international laws that govern our nation because they're treaties with other world's peoples trump local federal law. I'm going to talk today briefly about the Human Rights Declaration because I've been sort of asked to do that. One of the most significant articles of that document is Article 2, which basically says that we have the right to be live in our lives without any form of discrimination. What that means is pretty straightforward. People cannot piss on you or poop on you for anything that is equally and importantly just you. You have the right to run your life any way you want to, whether it goes well or not, and that's on you.